Peripheral vision and the importance to boxers. Your peripheral vision is what you see out of the side of your eyes. And what is this used for? Well, to understand this, you've got to understand that there are two types of cells within the eye. There are rod cells and cone cells. Now, the rod cells are around the outside like this, and that's what they can, they can see things that are on the outside there. Now, they don't see in color. They just see movement. So your peripheral vision is going to detect movement, but not color. These cells here in the center, they are the ones that allow you to see in color. Believe it or not, if you hold an object way out to the side in your peripheral vision and got a friend to hold it there, you wouldn't be able to tell what color that is. So what does that mean for us? Peripheral vision is going to see round movements, move that come around the outside, which are going to go into the field of peripheral vision. Now, if I move up closer, you'll be able to see that that movement cannot be seen right in front there. In the next video, I'm going to talk about the difference between a round movement and a straight movement and how that affects combat sports and boxing. One of the most useful things we can do with beginners is to teach them the correct move when they're going to block or parry a punch as it's coming at them. So as the punch comes towards me, if it's a straight punch like this, traditionally I can slip it, but in this case what I'm going to do is to parry. I'm going to use my hands to parry that, and that's a straight move coming straight at me. When the move comes round like this, I'm going to block like this. It's called a salute block. And I just bring my hand up there like this and hopefully the glove will defend it. You can roll underneath it as well, but it's a parry or a block. So what we've got to decide is, is the movement coming straight? Is the movement coming round? Your typical move from, from most amateur boxers, the jab cross hook there, 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 is going to be dealt with by this. Parry, parry, block. Following on from my previous video about rod cells, cone cells, and peripheral vision, you'll wonder why I'm wearing two different colored gloves. And the reason is, in the warm-up before the fight, just immediately prior to the fight, 90% of what you do is going to be in here. We're looking to sharpen up your reactions before the fight. I'm in the red corner, I wear red gloves. You're in the blue corner, you wear blue gloves. I need to defend your shots coming at me. So I'm looking for a blue movement like this. When I see that blue movement, I will parry it. Now this is where my cone cells in the center of my eye are going to be able to spot that color. Obviously in the other case, you are looking for a red movement. When you see red move, you are going to parry like that. So practicing with your opponent's color gloves coming at you before you go into fight is just going to get you that little bit sharper.